an anti-COVID-19 drug 2DG has been developed by the Institute of Nuclear Medicine and Allied Sciences our lab of DRDO in collaboration with Dr. Reddy's laboratories. Clinical results have shown that this helps in faster recovery of hospitalized patients and reduces supplemental oxygen dependence. A higher proportion of patients treated with 2DG showed RTPC are negative conversion in COVID patients. The drug will be of immense benefit to the people suffering from COVID-19. Patients improved symptomatically and became free from supplemental oxygen dependence by day 3. The medicine is equally effective on patients aged more than 65 years. On May 1, 2021, DCGI granted permission for the emergency use of this drug as an adjunct therapy in moderate to severe COVID-19 patients. Being a generic molecule and analog of glucose, it can be easily produced and made available in plenty in the country. The drug comes in powder form in a sachet, which is taken orally by dissolving it in water. It accumulates in the virus-infected cells and prevents virus growth by stopping viral synthesis and energy production. In the ongoing second COVID-19 wave, a large number of patients are facing severe oxygen dependency and need hospitalization. The drug is expected to save precious lives due to the mechanism of operation of the drug in infected cells. Pursuing Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's call for preparedness against the pandemic, DRDO took the initiative of developing an anti-COVID therapeutic application of 2DG. In April 2020, Inmers DRDO found that this molecule works effectively against the SARS-CoV-2 virus and inhibits viral growth. Phase 2 trials conducted during May to October 2020, the drug was found to be safe in COVID-19 patients and showed significant improvement in their recovery. Phase 2A was conducted in six hospitals and Phase 2B, dose ranging, clinical trial was conducted at 11 hospitals all over the country. Phase 2 trial was conducted on 110 patients. In efficacy trends, the patients treated with 2DG showed faster symptomatic cure than standard of care on various endpoints. It takes two and a half days lesser to achieve normalization of specific vital signs parameters when compared to SOC. Based on successful results, DCGI further permitted the Phase 3 clinical trials, which were conducted in November 2020 on 220 patients between 27 COVID hospitals. The drug will save numerous lives due to the mechanism of operation of the drug in infected cells, 